Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about various styling techniques for text, fonts and links with CSS. So let's get started. First, let's open our VS Code and run our live server. Okay, let me align this. The first thing we are going to talk about is how to style our text. For text, we can adjust four things. First one is the color, second is the size, and then we have its alignment and at the end we have its decorations. We have covered some of them before but I gonna remind them again. First let's have our paragraph right here and with test text inside it. Now let's select our paragraph in our CSS. For changing color we just have this color property right here and then the color that we want right here. The second one is the size of the text that can be dynamic and static. For dynamic values, we have view width, view height, percentage, and for the static values, we have our regular pixels, RAM, and etc. And now, for example, if we want to make this a little larger, we just type font dash size, and then we give the value. For example, here I want it to be 15 pixels. For dynamic we can use view width that you can see if I resize the window the text will resize automatically. Next thing we have in text is alignment that we can have in three ways. Center, right and left. Syntax is simply text dash align and if I put this in center you can see our text is now in the center of our page. Or we can have this in the right mode that you can see now it's in the right and the default value is the left. The final thing in our text part is decorations which has four properties and in the end I will show you how to use the shorthand to make your code better. The first thing we have is text decoration line that the syntax is just I say text decoration line and here we have some options. We have overline that is a line above our text. Then we have our underline which is the text below our text. Another thing we have is this line through that is in the middle of our text. Then we have this inherit mode that can get the item from its parent tag and our initial which is the base settings and onset is something like off or none. For example, let's make this underline right here. The next one we have is the color of our decoration and the syntax is text-decoration color right here. For example, here let's make it blue and you can see now our underline is changed to blue. Then we have our style of decoration and it's text-decoration-style and here as our borders we have our dashed, dotted, double, solid and just like these. For example let's make our underline double in this case. And the final thing we have our text decoration thickness that we can pass value based on our design. For example here let's make this 1.5 pixels and you can see we got our changes. And at the end we can have all of these in our shorthand command which is just text dash decoration and now here we are going to type type of line first for example here we want it to be overline and then the color for example let's make this green and then we can have our style for example let's make this dotted here and at the end we can have our thickness for example let's make this three pixels and as you know uh, our CSS will ignore these because we have overwritten it right here so we can have delete these items. Next thing we're going to talk about is phones and how to apply them. 
Using a font that is easy to read is important. The font adds value to your text. It's also important to choose the correct color and text size for the font. In CSS, we have five generic font families that we can use without importing. And the syntax is like this. First here, we have our property of font-family. And then here, we're going to type our font. For example here, if I just type this font name, you can see now our text has changed to this font. Here we have our serif, then our sans-serif, then we have our monospace font, then we have our cursive, and at the end we have our fancy font. Beside these fonts, we can have our own fonts in web page. To do that, first we're going to download the font and place it in our folder. For example, I have downloaded this font and have this right here in our main folder. To use this font, first we need to set this in our style file. And this is the syntax. First, here we have our at sign and then we have our font-face. Then in our curly braces, here we have our font family, which here we are going to pass a name that we use this name later to use this font. For example, here I'm gonna name this just font1. And then in the second line, here we are going to type src, and here we are going to type our URL and address of our file, right here to our css file know where is our font file and in vs code if you press ctrl and space you can see your folder and if i select this and here in our paragraph change in the font family to font one now you can see our font has changed Next thing we're going to talk about is CSS links and how to style them. First of all, we need a link in our HTML file and to do that we use anchor tag and here we have our link. As you see, it has default decoration on it uh, with underline and some color. To change that, we can use all things that we have learned in our text part. For example, if we want to remove the underline what we gonna do is select anchor tag first and then here we can use text decoration text decoration and put it into none and here you can see now we don't have that line anymore and for the color we can use the color and make it for example black in addition, links can be styled differently depending on what state they are in. The four link states are a link in a normal unvisited situation and then a link when the user mouse over it or hovers on it and then a link that user has visited it and then a link when uh, you click on it and select that. To change them, we use the syntax. After we, our selector we put this uh, double columns and then here we can specify our state that we want to change it. For example here, if I want to change the hover mode, I just type hover here and then let's make the color, for example, red here. And now if I hover on this link, you can see that the link has been red. Then we have active just like this that we can for example say we want the color to be in green and now you see if i click on this the link is going to be green a normal link style can be changed just by selecting it it don't matter selecting it with class name id you can use any selectors but here for example let's make the color for example purple and for decoration we can use text 
decoration and let's make that underline disappear okay now you have this but we have a role in this active hover and states of link we should use hover after a link and visited state and we can use the active after we have used our hover mode for example if we use this above this you can see we have link and hover but when i click on that we don't get this green one that's because of the rule that we should follow so the order should be something like this please do like and subscribe to catch next videos